Hey friends, Blake Shook here. I wanted to take just a second and respond to some of the news articles a lot of you as beekeepers have probably seen that talk about there's over you know a million new beehives in the U.S. over the past couple of years. Some new USDA surveys came out that shows this ridiculous increase in hives in the country. And that's caused confusion for a lot of people. Uh, and it's caused confusion for a lot of consumers too because they're wondering, is there not a problem with honeybees? where we lied to all along and there never has been a problem or are we past the problem and honeybees are doing fine now and we've got this massive growth and the crisis of losing bees is over now. And like a lot of things, it's not that simple. I mean, I've been involved in all levels of the beekeeping industry since I was 12 years old, so over 20 years ago. Um, I was a small scale beekeeper, a sideline beekeeper. I run over 30,000 beehives now um, and in involved in lots of different organizations um, and was interviewed uh, by a lot of news agencies since that original article came out showing that there was this ridiculous increase in bees. I wish it were true. I, I wish that I could say, yes, bees are getting better. We are, losses are declining and we're over the hump. It's just not true, unfortunately. Um, some beekeepers have grown. We have seen some minor increases in hives, but the reality is we're still hovering between a 40 and 50 percent annual loss rate. Really almost every year that loss rate ticks up one to two percent. That's a big problem. You know we you know a couple decades ago we were in the teens you know we were losing 15, 16 percent of beehives every year. You know now we're almost 50 percent every year and that has not changed. What has changed is some of the ways the surveys were conducted. Um, there's differences in uh, the number of beekeepers they surveyed, there's a lot of extrapolation that has gone on in those numbers um, that we think as an industry is very inaccurate, the extrapolation. Um, there's the way surveys were conducted, they surveyed farms and for us commercial beekeepers that move our bees around to multiple farms throughout the year, a lot of those beehives are getting double or even triple counted in the surveys. And then there's some seasonality effects. If you take the survey in the spring when every beekeeper is at their max number, that number looks a lot higher compared to maybe when the survey is normally taken. In the fall, for example, that number is gonna show a lot lower. So while there is some sort of positive news and some growth in the industry, it's nothing close to a million beehives and bees are just not out of trouble. So the damage that an article like that can do is that it can make legislators or the general consumer think that, oh, I don't have to worry about bees anymore. Bees are doing just fine. And that's not the case. We need help more than ever. We need beekeepers to stay vigilant, the consumer to care. We need legislators to care because the industry is still in a lot of trouble, still needs the support of consumers and of legislators. And we don't want to take the foot off the gas uh, when it comes to that support. So. Um, spread the word. Um, if, you, if you talk to consumers, if you talk to your legislators, if you talk to other beekeepers, let them know that those numbers aren't quite accurate and the bees still need your help.